Good morning from Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport, welcome to a new video. I just arrived from Birmingham and today I'm going to Paris with Air France. Transiting in Paris can be time taking. I arrived with a non Schengen flight and my next flight is departing from Terminal 2F. I also had to go for a security check and I also had to show my vaccination certificate. In total it took me like 20 minutes to get to Terminal 2F. I will also have launch access today thanks to my Delta Airlines Gold status. The Air France launch in Terminal 2F is brand new. It was opened a few months ago in late August. Travel Sync Fly made a great review about this launch. If you don't want to miss this great review, just check out the top right corner now. But for now, bienvenue to this new launch. This launch is on two levels. According to Air France, this launch has capacity for up to 550 passengers. You can also take a shower in this lounge here, so let's check out the showers. Well done Air France. They had everything here in these showers. There was some shampoo from a typical French company. And next to the sink there were also some amenities like a toothbrush. After a refreshing shower I took a seat in these nap areas. I was also getting hungry, so it's time to have a look at the buffet. There was not really one buffet. There were several food islands with some cold dishes. But even better than the food selection was the drink selection. They literally had everything. Champagne, red wine, white wine, I can't even name all these drinks. And of course they also had beer, soft drinks and so on. I can promise you, you won't leave this lounge hungry. There's plenty to eat. And as I mentioned before, even more to drink. Something else which I noticed in this lounge was that almost every seat was equipped with a USB outlet. And even better, some tables also had wireless charging. So even if you forgot your charger, you're good. Next to the nap areas, there were also some smoothies and some detox drinks. So, in the end, I really enjoyed my stay at the lounge. I also had the time to have a nap for like an hour. And now it's time to catch my flight to Munich, so let's go to the gate. My aircraft for this flight is this 15 year old Airbus A319. This is Air France business class seat and as mentioned before I'll be sitting in economy, my seat for today is 19F. Well let's have a first look at the seat which offers you a leg room of about 24 centimeters. I was also lucky and the seat next to mine stayed empty. The estimated flight time from Paris to Munich is like 1 hour and 15 minutes. So please enjoy the takeoff and see you in a bit in the air.
are in the air and let's have a closer look at the seat. There's a huge seat pocket to store smaller items and also a cup holder which is really cool. In my opinion more airlines should use these. You can move the tray table back and forth and there's also a safety card. On each seat there's a coat hook and the aircraft is also equipped with Wi-Fi. But first, let's check out the Air France Play app. This app allows you to download newspapers or magazines before your flight. They had newspapers from all over the world. Before my flight I downloaded the German newspaper Süddeutsche Zeitung. However, before I mentioned in-flight Wi-Fi, so let's check out this one as well. This page shows you some flight stats and also your current location. It was a bit annoying that they had advertisements there. You can also entertain yourself with some mobile games. But now let's have a look at the Wi-Fi itself. Surprisingly, Air France also has a messaging pass which allows you to browse the Wi-Fi for free. However, there are also other packages for 5 or 15 euros. I was not sure if Air France offers snacks or drinks on their flights, so to be safe I stole some snacks from the lounge. Apparently Air France has a small onboard service. They offered complimentary drinks like water, coffee, tea or juices. And surprisingly a sandwich was offered as well. Twenty twenty one is coming to an end and I also wanted to say thank you for seven hundred subscribers. My flight today was not really full, which means the crew had some leftover sandwiches. This time I went for the other option and then chose the ham sandwich. Another cool feature were these USB ports in the armrests. I really wish more airlines would have these. In my opinion, that's even more important than the cup holder. In the background you can already see the Alps, that means we are already close to Munich. This also means it's time for a short summary. A huge lounge and a great onboard experience. Air France really surprised me. My flight was actually cancelled, so I messaged Air France on Twitter and they rebooked me within minutes. And that's a great customer service as well. That's everything from my side and now please enjoy the landing at Munich Airport. Welcome to Munich Airport. It's the third biggest city of Germany and the airport is the second biggest of the country. Thank you very much for watching and if you want to support me, leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support this year and all those kind comments. I wish you a great start into 2022 and see you next year.